Well, Bones Club members, uh, good to see you. I'm doing a little better this evening uh, after doing our investigative work on the phone. Um, kind of thought about what would be the legal limit that somebody could place of a radioactive substance on somebody's property before it became a crime, what that level would be. And if I was to sell somebody uh, a substance that was radioactive, what the limit would be on the radiation before uh, you could be charged with a crime. So we're going to go ahead and call the police department and ask them that question. Here we go. Let's see what they say. Hello, uh, ma'am. I have a question for you. Okay. Um, I was wondering, what is the legal radiation limit on a substance before somebody can be charged with a crime for either possessing it or, or selling it to somebody? Radiation level? Yes, the legal radiation limit. So let's say I had, let's say I had a court. What? What kind of substance are we talking about? Uh, something that's radioactive, like let's say somebody was selling me um, a buoy that they found on the um, Japanese coastline without telling somebody, and it's highly radioactive. What would the Geiger counter limit on that be? Do you know? I have no idea. That'd probably be something that would be put through on at the state level with the attorney general. You'd have to probably talk with like them or the FBI about that, but it wouldn't be something that we would... Uh, deal with, especially if it was a sale from Japan. Well, what if somebody just had something that was very radioactive and left it on somebody's property on purpose? And uh, somebody... Are you reporting that? Well, I have a Geiger counter, and I've been okay. going around with it, and I've noticed some seriously high levels of radiation on certain objects around Coos Bay, and was wondering what the legal limit of possessing a, a radioactive... Uh, object was honestly i don't know that's not something that we deal with again i believe that's something that would probably be handled through uh, probably the either um the oregon emergency management team along with the state fire marshal perhaps so because, so you don't even investigate radioactivity no, we don't have the equipment to do so well that's very interesting and Well, wouldn't it be criminal if somebody left something, let's say, that they know is radioactive enough to get somebody sick within 12 days on their property? We would have no way to verify the level of radiation off of the equipment, off of that item. We do not have that equipment. We have never had that equipment in 20-something years that I've been working here. Okay. So where would somebody call to get the information of what is... I would contact the Oregon Emergency Okay, do you have that number? I do not. All I have is the emergency numbers that we have, which are not public information. You can probably find it either on the web, on the internet or calling 411. Okay, well, I, okay. W I would like to report, though. I have noticed that there are seven different buoys in Coos Bay's Harbor that is at 190 rads per hour of radiation contact. Where is this at? Coos Bay's Harbor near Charlton. Okay, then you would need to either contact the Oregon State Police or the Coos County Sheriff's Office. We don't handle that area out there. Okay. Charleston is not ours. Okay, because I was just getting worried because I've done some radiation taking and readings and normally what I was told is anything over 85 rads per hour is dangerous. Yeah, I have no way of knowing, sir. I'm not expertise in that. Okay, because I don't want to pick it up off the beach, but I don't want somebody getting sick by it either. So I need to okay, call who? To con I would contact either the Oregon State Police or the Coos County Sheriff's Office if it's on a beach. 
Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, that's what I've detected is a few of these buoys out here. And it looks like in Coos Bay, the federal government keeps talking about how we're so protected against, uh, how do you say, WMDs. But radiation by WMDs, which are basically a weapon of mass destruction, once you have something that's highly radioactive, like let's say somebody was to have a Japanese yen that was in the Hiroshima area, that coin, everybody that touches it could become very sick from having it. Now, same with that buoy. If somebody takes it home and they put it out there as a yard display, and let's say those people have barbecues all the time, well, they don't know they're getting hit by the radiation of that area. And it even becomes worse when it's a store, like Safeway, that's selling a radioactive cheese. And your police have no way of the capability to even go in and see what's being sold to you that's radioactive or not. And they don't even care. So if you were to take something that was highly radioactive, and let's say leave it at a department, like let's say the CDC themselves, the police wouldn't be able to know that that happened. Does that make you feel safer? We need to help these police departments get the equipment they need to be able to randomly go around and check radiation levels. Otherwise, we're not being safe. We're all being attacked. And they don't care or are inadequately supplied to where they can't keep us safe from these invisible weapons of mass destruction. And this is something that I tried to point out to Safeway that it was doing. And therefore, one of the people that's smart enough, like a pharmacist, that knows what I'm talking about, that didn't like what I was saying, decides to lose my prescriptions on purpose. Way to hush me up. Maybe because he has my records and my diagnoses from my doctor on how sick I am that I might not live through the detoxification period, the dehydration, the severe withdrawals from the drugs that he's not going to let me have. And then be silenced to something like this. And you heard it from your own department. They have no way to protect you from this. They're not being supplied with it. They're being hushed also. These agencies need the funding. These agencies need to be able to detect that invisible killer that's out there. Or how many of our friends and family members and children have to get sick and later on have cancer. Because why? Everybody wanted to push it under the carpet? Doesn't make any sense for me. Well, Bones Club members, I'm going to keep tackling this down here, and uh, hopefully I'll get through this and get better. But peace. Till the next episode.